Coach, let's start from the most important thing. The playoffs are now mathematically ours. We made it and we did it with a very, very good game as well. Yeah, look, Fiordana are actually a really good side. They played really well today. You put us under pressure and uh, they wouldn't, wouldn't go away. We'd score and they'd bounce back. And so really pleased with the performance today. Uh, I thought after a two week break, um, I thought we did some really good stuff on both sides of the ball um, under pretty, pretty hot conditions too. So certainly tested our, our conditioning as well. Verona showed really uh, very good quality in attack. Maybe some problems in defence. Uh, how do you explain so many conceded points? Yeah, look, I think um, a couple of those points came off turnovers of kick chase and um, the game sort of loosened up. And so we'll certainly have to look at our transition defence. That's something that um, is, is always difficult to defend. Um, and they, they took the opportunities really well. Yeah, I thought, especially their first try, um, they, they played really well. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's certainly an area we need to just make sure we're tidy with. Of course, Mirko Belloni is back. First game back, man of the match, scores after one minute. How much did we miss him? <laughs> oh, lucky he showed, you know, three, three well taken tries. He's just got that little bit of X factor, that little pace just to, to beat a man and, and to finish those opportunities that the boys are in, inside creating. So, no, great to have him back. And um, yeah, he played really well. Mm. So, the first goal of the season is now reached. How are we going to uh, face these last three games before the big ones? Look, it's about building momentum, it's about building cohesion, getting guys uh, minutes and preparing ourselves for playoffs footy now. So certainly the next three weeks are really important to that um, and how we manage that and how we prepare and hopefully we're peaking for the, play for the playoffs. One last about Thomas Parolo. He really couldn't wait to go in. He actually had to come back again for a second. Uh, what did you think about his coming back? Oh, look, it's a great, great story, inspirational. Um, how hard he's worked behind the scenes. It's great to give him 10 minutes um, at, at the end there and get his body used to rugby again. Um, so, yeah, over the next couple of weeks, we'll look to increase his workload and his minutes and hopefully get him firing for the playoffs.